Hello, my name is Sushima and today we are going to uh, learn how to make a master tonic. Uh, a lot of you have asked and I have actually done another video on master tonics, but I'm making some for my friend Margaret and I just wanted to show you how I do it. So master tonics um, require the use of a um, food processor. This here is a food processor and it will make your life a lot easier. Otherwise, you have to sit here with a knife, a knife, and glasses, and weep into your spices. So a, there's nothing as wonderful as a food processor to make your life much, much easier. And that's what I use to grind up all the vegetables, all the, all the um, flavonoids. And so what I have here is a layer of very hot pepper. As you can see, this very hot pepper. This is ginger. Let me put that close to the camera. Ginger, uh, excuse me, hot peppers, horseradish, ginger, onions, garlic in equal quantities. So I put all these in equal quantities. And it's a better idea to make two jars for the price of one because it's a, you're starting a process and this thing lasts and lasts forever. It'll last for years. And so I'm making two jars for Margaret. You get these mason jars at the store for two or three bucks. Uh, buy organic ingredients only, organic um, um, condiments only, because uh, these are going to be steeping in the uh, cider, cider vinegar, and they're going to create the most amazing antiviral tonic. This is um, organic apple cider. Mmm, made from fresh Sebastopol apples and it's absolutely delicious. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it all the way to the top to cover these condiments, these chopped up, wonderful, wonderful. And this uh, apple cider vinegar has the mother in it. And so I poured in a quart of this into, into the... Uh, master tonic. And I, I have another one. And see how there's a mother at the bottom? You want to have the mother in there because mother is very, very important. A apple cider vinegar mother is nothing but this kopi or the culture that helped to take the sweet apple juice and convert it into cider. So it's, it's a wonderful live thing. And when you take a tablespoon or two of this tonic every day, you, you will keep pretty much everything at bay. So this is nature's medicine without the side effects. So I'm pouring in the second apple cider vinegar. I'm pouring in the second vinegar into this mason jar. And so then we're gonna have two apple cider vinegars. This has amazing properties. It has flavonoids that help find viral dis fight viral disease. It beefs up your immune system, and it is delicious. It is delicious. You can use it, and um, you can use this as a salad dressing. You can mix it with um, um, olive oil and create all sorts of yummy salads. You can throw it in stews. You can throw it on tops of vegetables. So I would recommend. Think about this: a steak with some hollandaise sauce mixed with some of this master tonic. You're getting your medicine and you're getting your food. So <coughs> it's very spicy and the spices are, maybe you want to wear glasses. But now I'm going to cover this up with, <coughs> with these. And when, when you store them, please put some paper towels. So what I would recommend is putting some paper towel on the inside. I'm not going to do that because I'm transporting these to Margaret's house. But when you do that, you when you do that, this does not rust. This is so acidic that your metal things are going to rust. So here is the very very simple recipe of master tonic. I'm cleaning the tops off so there's nothing there. And shut it. I'm gonna shut this. And voila, you have the most beautiful master tonic. Now, this sits in your closet, in a dark closet, for anywhere from three to six months. Uh, what I didn't add to this was fresh turmeric root. 
fresh turmeric root is not in season right now. But if I did, I would have added that. As a matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add some turmeric powder. I have some organic turmeric powder. And I'm going to add that. So not, not a whole lot, just some. Just a, a little bit of turmeric powder. And um, stir it. So now you have this master tonic. That's a beautiful golden yellow color. It's got this layer cake of spices, fresh spices, and no virus can withstand this. You are just not going to fall sick when you have master tonic as part of your life. This is antiviral, antibacterial. It's got um, a 19 organic acids. It's got um, cold fighting, flu fighting, pneumonia fighting compounds. And it's food. It's food. It's not going to have side effects. Eat it in moderation, so don't drink it by the cup. I would say a tablespoon here, a tablespoon there. And this is your best flu shot for winter. Folks, a flu shot contains 25 micrograms of mercury. It contains chicken embryo and all sorts of DNA to which your body throws a massive, massive allergic reaction. And the flu shot is ineffective about 80-90% of the time. Uh, flu shots also cause Guillain-Barre, things like paralysis, sudden death. They cause meningitis of your membranes. They contribute to Alzheimer's and other diseases as a lot of seniors are prescribed a lot of flu shots and other shots containing either aluminum or mercury and very, very deadly adjuvants that cause your body to throw up a massive immune reaction to the antigenic matter that is in those in these shots. So uh, what a master tonic does is it prevents those kinds of infections. It helps your body boost itself. It, your body has two immune systems, the, the T, T1 and the T2, Th1 and the Th2. One is a humoral immune system or the antibody-mediated immune system, and one is the cell-mediated immune system. And what vaccines are doing is they need both. You need both. You need your systems to be balanced. And when you eat food, and food is used as medicine, you're balancing both sides of your immune system. Your humoral system is going to look at any viral bits or pathogenic bits and tag them and your cell mediated immune system which becomes suppressed by vaccines won't be suppressed if you're not taking vaccines but eating food and it'll attack these viral particles these bacterial pathogenic bacterial particles and it's going to um, harness good bugs in your body uh, good minerals this is very very rich in minerals it's very rich in digestive enzymes enzymes in general enzymes fight tumors and cancer. So this is a magical, miraculous food and I would I would recommend everybody, we're in October now, everybody start a couple of master tonics in your kitchen closet and they will last for years, literally for years, but you want to finish that before the end of winter and provide this as nourishment to your families. So good luck and happy master tonic making. You can add other condiments that are locally available in your area. So I didn't have turmeric, so I put in turmeric, fresh turmeric, I put turmeric powder. I'm sure there are other things you can add to this that are available in your local area. What they say is the cure for every disease is available in the herbs that are located within a hundred mile radius of your house. So good luck with exploring. exploring. Keep an open mind and try a lot of different things that do not involve medication, drugs, painkillers, and vaccines. Um, and enjoy mm, the delicious master tonic.